Hello and welcome, my name is Wayne Hitt with the Hit Home Group of Long and Foster. And if you're watching this video, it's because you and I had a conversation in regards to a property that you're thinking about selling, or maybe one that you have for sale by owner right now and you're looking for a second opinion, or maybe one that recently expired or came off the market and you've kind of pumped the brakes and you're looking to kind of gather some intel. I created this video, uh, two parts, two reasons. One as kind of an introduction to introduce myself to you, to give you a face to the name and to the voice, and as kind of a pre-listing video to kind of introduce myself and my team as well to kind of say, uh, kind, of, kind of give an idea of where we come from, how we come from a different place in this market, uh, how we serve our clients differently. Uh, so it's kind of a pre-listing video. I hope most agents send out pre-listing packages to kind of give you an idea of what to do with the house uh, before marketing and things like that. I would rather do a video. I like to have a good time. You'll see as this video plays out that I'm not your normal uh, boring agent. Not that agents are boring, but you know, I like to switch it up. I like to have a good time. You'll see that as we go through here. But I'm going to be short and sweet. Uh, I normally talk fast, so I'm trying to kind of slow it down a little bit. Um, but I'll keep it short and sweet. I know we're all busy nowadays, so I'm going to get right to it. I've drawn a mountain here. Believe it or not, that is a mountain. I know I'm no Pablo Picasso. Hey, do you know who that guy is? Dude, I don't even know who I am. Oh, well, you're Pablo Picasso. Really? No, not really. But I drew a mountain because Selling a property at times can seem like a mountainous task, but I'm telling you, if you have the right people in place and, and, the, and the right places of the systems in place, rather, the right team behind you, the right people backing you, it's not that daunting. We can get it done. I just wanted to shout it from on top of a mountain, but I didn't have a mountain. I had a newsroom and a camera. So I've got three areas here of what I see. Um, most agents today thinking about or spending their time doing when selling a property. Now this is not an agent bashing video. This is just what I'm seeing, not from all agents, just most. There are some phenomenal real estate agents out there, don't get me wrong. So again, short and sweet, let's get right to it. The number one thing that I see is on the agent's mind when dealing with selling a property. the commission. Respectable, because that's probably on your mind as well. Here's the thing though, if that's the first thing you're thinking about as an agent when you're walking into a property and servicing a client, if all you're thinking about is a commission, you can tell. They come in, you can tell, they, they almost have commission breath. It's, it's gross. In my pocket, it's a whole thing of Tic Tacs. Take as many as you like, please. That's, that's no good. Let's, let's move off of that. Move quickly to number two. The second thing that I see agents spending their time doing or thinking about is the sale. Well, of course, the sale, because that's the goal, right? Sell the house. However, if all you're thinking about is selling the house for the commission, you're coming from the wrong place, okay? If all you're thinking about is that, you're going to give some crappy advice. Now, what you want to be able to do is, is come from a place of help, a place of service, how can we get this done for you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller? Um, if all you're thinking about is getting paid, I gotta get paid, I gotta get paid, you're not gonna give the best advice. It may be the best advice down the road or in the middle of the transaction or while negotiating, the best advice could be, hey, let's pull this thing off the market, paint this, stage this, put it back on. Or let's pull it off the market and uh, put it back on in the spring or a different time of year. Let's pull it off the market and hang on to it. Let's pay the mortgage down. Get some more equity. Um, when you go to put it back on later on, you've, you've got a, a greater margin, some more wiggle room. Maybe pull it off and rent it. Who knows? But if if you're not coming from the right place, you are going to be a horrible negotiator. I don't know. My memory ain't so great. Oh, yeah? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I don't know. It's still kind of hazy. How about this? Yeah, I remember him. I used to see him around. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. I really don't think I should. Yeah, you still don't think so. Um, and that's doing a disservice to your client. So, one and two, there we go. Let's move to number three. This is a two-word answer, so it's going to take me a little bit to get this up here. The third thing that I see most agents doing and or spending their time with, gathering listings. Gathering inventory. Gathering stuff. That's all I need, too! 
I don't need one other thing. Not what I need this. The battle game and the chair and the remote control and the matches for sure. Um, this is what we're taught, you know, out of the gate in school, in real estate school. Thank you for coming into the marketplace, Mr. and Mrs. Agent. Uh, real estate is a numbers game, so I want you to spend a lot of your time gathering listings. The more inventory you have, the more you have to sell, the more chances you have of making money. You know, only 50 to 60, I'm sorry, only 50 uh, to 65% of your houses are going to sell, Mr. and Mrs. Agent. So you really got to bring on the inventory to hedge your bets. Well, I hate to be the seller on the other end of that 35 to 50% that didn't sell. That's a crappy situation. <laughs> So, that's what I'm seeing. These three items, uh, again, not from everyone. This is just what I'm seeing from, from a lot of agents. Let's, let's switch the game a little bit. Let's change the mindset. So, my team and I, we've come from um, a different place in the service industry. Our three are completely different. This one here, um, people look at me kind of sideways. It kind of blows their mind a little bit. It really doesn't make sense when I tell it to them. Uh, this one here kind of gives the, the aha moment, and then this last one here kind of brings all this together. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. Um, so that's it, short and sweet. When you have this in place uh, coming from, from my way of doing things, it makes this kind of seem like uh, that. That's even worse than the first mountain. Sorry about that. Anyway, so that's kind of the short and sweet. I'd love to get together with you, take about 10 minutes of your time, and go over these three items of how my team and I come from a, a different place and how we end up selling our houses for the most amount of money in the least amount of time uh, with the least amount of stress, which is very important. So anyway, I hope this was fun. I hope it was uh, educational. I really appreciate your time uh, in watching this. Like I said, I know we're busy nowadays, and I try to make it short and sweet and uh, you know, make it a little bit different. So any questions, let me know. You can uh, respond or comment below. Be happy to help. My team and I work eight days a week, 26-7, and uh, we'd be happy to help with whatever your real estate needs may be. So again, it's Wayne Hitt with the Hit Home Group of Long & Foster. Thanks for joining me, and until next time, take care. It's not about money, it's about sending a message.